you know, my reaction was um, just first want to thank God. You know, if it wasn't for God, um, my, my waiver probably wouldn't be cleared. So I keep God first, and I was very happy, you know, to get it to succeed. And um, the coaching staff, uh, the compliance, they worked as hard as they can, and they got it approved. Talk about now, two days later getting the first game of the team and kind of what it was like for you out there, first game in a uniform. Felt good, you know, playing out there with Johnny Lloyd. It's just, you know, basketball again, you know, just running up and down the court, getting a feel for it. Um, still got a lot of things to work on, and um, we got uh, plenty more things to work on, like like Coach was talk, telling us in the locker room, so felt good. Where do you see the potential for this team on the defensive end? I know you personally have five skills a day. There's a lot of length out there. Maybe he has another size, but I know there's a lot of potential there. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's a lot of potential. You know, we're all athletic. We try to bend our knees, like Coach said, and uh, stay low, uh, deflect all the passes, and pick up intensity up on, on the on the defensive end. And that's defense wins games. You know, so if we do that, be a good ball club. You have a reputation as a scorer. Um, how much value are you taking in defense? Your five steals tonight. You know, like I said, defense win game, you know, offense comes second. But, you know, I just took the shots that came to me and knocked them down. Don't you expect to contribute this early? Um, I really haven't did nothing. I was just playing basketball. Uh, still got a lot of work to do. Uh, I'm trying to get better on defense, stand in front of uh, my man. And, I mean, tonight it was just a game just to see where we're at. And we got work to do. Uh, you know, coach will figure it out. You know, he's uh, he knows what he's doing. He's been doing it for a long time. So, you know, coach, he'll, he'll, he'll figure out the best game plan for us, and then, and we'll just play ball, you know. We're just going to play hard while we're out there, whether it's, you know, short short periods, long periods, whatever it is. We're going to play hard and just, you know, try to make this team better. Josh, how well do you think the team is gelling right now? Um, uh, we're getting there. You know, we still got some work to do. But, you know, today we had we had a good amount of assists, you know, Extra passes, people weren't being selfish or anything, so you know that was a good sign. How did you compare this team to last year? Um, you know, once we come together, I think we'll be able to. We'll be better than last year. Once once we come together and you know we're we're run, uh, firing on all cylinders, we'll be good, real good. You've also been practicing with these guys. Talk about the athleticism. It seems like a pretty athletic group. Yes, yeah, a lot of athletes. You know, from 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 top to bottom, we got. We got a lot of a lot of athletes, so you know I think our presses will be really effective. You know we're gonna have a lot of transition buckets, and you know a lot of guys playing over the rim. You seen Joe had two dunks. You know that was that was easy, easy two dunks. So that's just that's just the start. Joseph, I'm excited you guys as a shooter to see the the potential on the outside shooting part. I know you and Kalise uh, and I saw Moser out there shooting threes like it was nothing. So. I mean, how excited are you playing on a team that has the outside shooting ability? Well, it's all start with work. You know, if you put the work in and you stay in the gym, I see Jason in the gym. Uh, Mike's always in the gym just working on the shot to be consistent, you know, if you be in the gym. And coach trusts you. If he sees you in the gym shooting threes, uh, the shots you take in the game, he'll trust you to knock the shot down. Sean, is there anything that you saw in the last month of practices from the young guys that you felt like showed through the most tonight that you were encouraged by? Uh, we played hard, you know, that's really what coach asked for, for us to play hard for 40 minutes. And I feel like we played hard for the most part. So you know, that was a good thing. You know, we weren't, we made mistakes, but you know, guys weren't just kind of putting their heads down and soaking over it. So yeah, that was a good sign, you know, sign of a maturity. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to ask him, compared to last year, we had Tony Woods in the middle and a big shot blocker. How much is it going to change this year defensively? Because you're not going to have that and then also rebounding. Coach. Yeah, coach. Uh, coach was talking about that. You know, during the game, we don't really have a rim protector right now. So, you know, once somebody puts that in their mind, because we got the athletes for it. You know, I know Tone was you know six ten and he could really jump, but you know, we still got some athletes on there that can change some shots, alter some shots. But yeah, we're gonna miss Tone shot blocking. John, end of last year, you guys kind of had to step up when Aris went down. You got to be the Pac-12 champion, current champion. Uh, with all the guards you guys got this year, what are you hoping? Uh, I'm whatever whatever coach you know wants me to do you know I'm willing to do whatever he wants you know I just want to come in you know 
play hard, you know, change the game, do what I do, and just, you know, help this team win. Joe, were you, were you pretty sure you were going to get cleared, or was there some uncertainty? Was it kind of weighing on you? Well, you know, uh, wasn't sure at first, but it didn't stop me from just working hard in practice every day. And uh, you can control what you can control, you know. If it didn't go through, just had to sit out a year and, and work harder. But, it, you know, like I said, I want to thank God, you know, for getting it succeeded and approved. Does it feel like a different world out here? Yeah, I feel like a different word, world, different weather. You know, it's, it's, it's the same thing, though. Basketball is basketball. If you can do it anywhere, then pretty good at it. What's been your answer, George? Kind of seeing all the new guys, and there's so many new ones, and, and you've probably known these guys for a month, two months. How do you think kind of this group is coming together after seeing them in the game for the first time? Uh, we're coming along from the first practice. Uh, we're getting better. You know, it's just the first game. Seen a lot, seen a lot of good things out there. Seen a lot of things we could have worked on. And uh, we stay together and help each other communicate on defense and just stay as one whole as a family. We're going to be pretty good. As a transfer yourself, um, a lot of people might think that it's a disadvantage of having so many different trainers coming in in regards to chemistry. But do you see it as more, even early on, as that could be a potential advantage for you guys with having a variety of players? Uh, just because of the transfers, I mean, I would say they're more focused to the game and they know how to play it since they played their juniors. And they're going to come in with a vet mindset and they're going to know what they're supposed to do, learn the plays quicker, and they should come in and know how to play defense and they know how to bring the team together as, as one whole and be a leader. Johnny, does, does Joe take you guys to another level, whatever, whatever that is? Yeah, man, it just puts a, another score on the floor. You know, somebody that play hard and can score the rock. So. That just you know opens up more lanes f for us uh, point guards and uh, different postmen because now somebody can't help help off Joe you know so knowing that he can really shoot the ball and, and score it like that it just gives us another dimension. Tiny didn't play much, but when you were in a matchup with Cole Baker and a buddy of yours, what was it like? Yeah, I was you know he got a couple buckets on me, so I was a little a little you know disturbed about that, but it was fun seeing Cole out there you know playing hard and and, and doing his thing, so it was cool. I was happy for him. Nah, not really. You know, I kind of tried it a little bit. I got into him. Uh, I was like, yeah, don't dribble in front of me, Colt. And then he had two buckets, so <laughs> it ain't really work. <laughs>